guys, it's your girl Jolly Tia, and I'm back with a quick video. I want to talk today, okay? Um, I want to talk about Oprah's life class. Now, if you live under a rock and you haven't heard, um, every weekday on OWN, Oprah is having her life class at 8 p.m. and it shows again, so you can catch it. That's also on YouTube. It's on the OWN network on the internet. I mean, there's no reason why you haven't seen this, and trust me, it's life changing. Now, I want to talk about it a little bit today because I know that if you haven't checked out this video right here, my Forgive Yourself to Grow video, I talked about forgiveness and how important that is. So, watching Whoa. Oprah's live class, not last night, but the night before that, today is Thursday. So, Tuesday night, it was about forgiveness and honey, it hit me hard. Last night, too, I'll touch on that as well. Last night's episode was about what do you believe about yourself, okay? But the forgiveness part, you know, I talked to you guys about forgiving yourself and forgiving others. And watching Oprah's life class really allowed me to see that I was holding on to a grudge. Um, I'm going to try not to cry. I am. So, in my life, you know, I've, I've been wronged by people like everyone else has. But it hit me hard because... I was led astray by a family member <laughs> that really hurt me and it affected my life, my career, and things like that. Okay? So, because of that, I was, because I was wronged, I held on to it like as if I have a right to be upset with you because you did this to me. Which I do, but I didn't realize that I was still holding on to that anger so hard. Like, even now telling you it's so hard for me to swallow the fact that I've accepted that it's happened to me and that forgiving her allows me to grow. And I thought I had, but apparently, you know, anger shows up in different ways. And to the characteristic that she talked about, 100% forgiven, and it was blocking some of the blessings from coming. I mean, Oprah said in the actual show again, so I'm really urging you to watch it. She said that, you know, forgiveness allows the beauty to come back into your life. And while you can tell I'm really a happy person, you know, I try to see the positive, but I'm a human just like everyone else. So I want to share it with you guys that it's important that you forgive. Now, how do you forgive? What, what, what is supposed to happen? Well, forgiveness frees you. So... I felt like I was finally freed by accepting the fact that it happened to me. Not that it shouldn't have, because I, you know. But forgiveness allows me to accept the fact that it happened. Because it's the past. I can't change it. It's over eight, nine years ago. Okay, yeah, I was... That's a long chain I had on there. But I'm, I've accepted it. It happened to me, you know. <laughs> it's hurtful. But I'm moving past it, and I definitely think that it's important for me to share with you who all might be going through something or have forgiving little things but allowed one thing or a specific thing to hold you back because it was just so unjust that you just, you can't let go. I know what that feels like, and I'm here to tell you that it's important that you forgive for yourself, not the other person. And also, there's something else that I want to share with you about forgiveness. Forgiveness well. allows you to wipe the slate clean. Meaning, I have forgiven, let's say I have five people. I have five people that, this, these are five wrongs that I have that I haven't forgiven for, right? Forgiveness allows you to wipe that clean and you move on from today or from the point that you decide you're going to forgive that person not holding on to it. It's clean, so there's nothing in your mind. You can live in the moment. So, I, I saw it on Wednesday. So, from Wednesday on, I've, I haven't interacted with the family members that really, especially the one that I really was holding the torch for, but I will because I refuse to continue to carry that burden of what happened to me so long ago into the future. I'm trying to make bigger and better decisions. I'm trying to go places. I'm trying to identify my pur purpose and live in it. 
and holding on to that grudge is hindering me from doing so. So I urge you as well, if you don't, if you can't see that there may be some anger, write things down. Writing how you feel allows you to get to the root of the of what's really the problem, not just the symptom, which is I'm pissed off, or I have road rage, or I'm always sarcastic and cynical. Yeah, those are <laughs> some of the um, signs, and your girl is full for full already, okay? So... I really had to examine that and realize that there was this, still this ugliness in my heart because of, excuse me, because of it. So I urge you guys to really identify and clean all of that sludge out of your heart and allow the blessings to flow in. All right? All right. Something else I want to mention. Yesterday's episode was about what do you believe in about yourself? And that also was very thought-provoking because we all like to say that we believe, you know, we're worthy of love and success and happiness. It's nice to say, but what we need to be trying to channel is that tape that plays in the back of our mind that says, you know, I'm unworthy, I'm unlovable. In my case, you're fat. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, my weight is a big issue for me, and it does have tendencies to make me feel insecure and inadequate. I'm a human like everyone else. And in order to channel those things, I tell myself, girl, you know, you're fine, you're worthy of love, you're, you're okay, you know, things like that. But I wouldn't be a human if I acted like it didn't exist. It does. We all have insecurities about ourselves that makes us feel there's a tape playing that says we're not good enough. You know, we were molested, so no one will ever love us. Um, we were raped, so our body means nothing. You know, we're, we're overweight because of what happened to us. We love food. We love crack. We, I mean, it's so many different things. You know, our lips are too big. We're too light-skinned. We're too dark-skinned. My hair's too nappy. My hair ain't nappy enough. I mean, there's so many different things that you could be playing in the back of your head, but identify what that tape is playing and counteract that tape or stop the tape altogether. And I think that's what she was saying because what you believe in yourself, you create. What I believe in myself is what I manifest. So regardless if I want like I'd like to admit it or not, I manifested this body because a year and a half ago, I was in a size 11. Okay? Now, I've been a big girl all my life, but I mean there's no words. There's no words. Let's just say that we all need to check the tape that's playing in our head and check what we really believe in ourselves. And if you have to sit there and chant, because I've been chanting to myself since yesterday when she told me this girl, um, you're worthy of love. You're worthy of success. You are a believer. You believe in yourself. You're awesome. And that's how you find your purpose. You, you, you find out what about yourself is the most, I don't want to say appealing, but appealing what you like most about yourself, what you see in yourself that will make you great and focus on that. Drill that into your head so that you believe it and once you believe it, you will begin to manifest the life that you want. It's a lot of hard work, I'm not going to lie. I'm doing the work myself. I mean, I am holding back tears right now, but... It's important that I share this with you because I feel like I want to watch people on YouTube and be surround myself with real life people. People that have experienced trials and tribulations that can allow you to catapult you from where you are into where you want to be. And that's greatness. I, I, I feel like I was put on this earth to make people laugh, to encourage and uplift, and to do some hair. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I feel like if you want to give me a talk show, let me talk to people. Talking is always something that I want. I enjoy doing. You see, I can do without even thinking. I didn't write a note down, and I'm just blabbering it right off. It's just something that comes natural to me. And I want to be able to use those gifts without blocking them or stifling them or allowing anger and hurt and despair to change them because those that kind of negative feelings it changes your characteristics it changes your personality and who you are and you really don't want to do that you want to grow but you don't want to revert you know what i'm saying 
Does that make sense? Yeah. So I just want to go ahead and share that with you. And I also want to let you know that this is my 100th video. Can you believe that? Can you believe that I started YouTube in April and I am already on 100 videos, okay? Am I doing the most or am I doing the most? I love it though. I love you guys. I can't stay away. But I must say, October 20th is my birthday. And I want to have, I want to make a video on that day, of course, because it's my birthday and expect me to be looking up. Okay, I will be all up and through. But I wanted to, I'm going to go on a little vacation after my birthday. So next video I'll probably be making is like about the 10th of November. But trust me, I have 100 videos for you to watch. So there should be no excuse why you guys are missing me. You can always talk to me on Facebook. You can always talk to me on Twitter. And also... I definitely will be uploading my blog, but I'm not going to ping the promise because I might make one or two videos here and there, but definitely not as much. I just want to take a little break for a while, you know, get my creative juices flowing, get more of my life class on so when I come back, I'm bigger and better. You feel me? You feel me? But definitely October 20th, I think it's a Thursday, side eye for not knowing what day your birthday are. Oh, God. This is me talking to myself. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I definitely will be here on the 20th. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to hit me up. Um, if you're familiar with No Choking, she's a transgender woman that makes videos on YouTube. You definitely want to check her out. She's very, very, very insightful. I mean, the things that she talk about, girl. She is very intellectual, and she, she allows you to make your own decisions, and I loved her channel. Anyway, check it out. No choking. I'll leave a link for her life class video in the description box. Because even though she, the issues that she's talking about, of course, just like I'm talking about my um, situation is personal to me, hers is personal to her, there's definitely more information that you can get just based on the feedback on the life class. And if all else fails, watch the life class. <laughs> I suggest that's the first suggestion. Watch the life class. And then if you have feedback, let's get on here and talk about it, alright? So thank you for allowing me to ramble on and share my story, a little bit of it with you guys. I'm so proud of myself for not crying because I really was on the verge. <laughs> and until next time, guys. Peace out.